Hello everyone, Chris here, and today I'm going to show you how you can take the page numbering of OpenOffice Writer and make it so that you can ignore certain pages, for instance, a cover page, or uh, reduce the page numbering, the page count, and the current page to only apply to a section or a chapter if you're writing an ebook or something like that, or a report. Anything you want. If you want to limit the number of pages that actually get uh, counted by these two things, the current page number and the page count, then this is the tutorial for you. So, um, by default, you would go to insert fields, page number, and page count, but that doesn't cut it here. So, what we actually have to do is a, a couple little things. So, we have one page type here, and you can tell that there's a different page type because the headers are different. Uh, we covered that in an earlier tutorial. You can go take a look at that if that's confusing to you. Um, but what we actually have to do here is to separate the page numbering of this first page from this page and the pages beyond it in terms of the current page count is to actually go here and right click go to paragraph and what you're going to want is the text flow tab so we're actually inserting a break uh, a page break and we need to insert it with a style and by inserting with a page style, we have the option to choose the starting page number. So since this is the first page of the first chapter of our book or first pay, actual page of our report, not counting the cover one, we would put page number one here. So now, if we go actually insert the field for page number, it's going to say page one because that's what we told it. We told it that from this page break, uh, okay, so yeah, you don't actually need to insert a page break here because by inserting the paragraph page break, it makes one automatically. So by inserting that page break in the paragraph tab, we have set the first page to be right here, or the first page for this section, and that's going to show in the numbering as well. So after that, once again, just insert page number, make sure there's that page break, make sure that you set the first page to be page one with the page break. So that's half of your uh, deal here. The second one is a little bit more tricky. You have to basically um, take how many pages there actually are and limit them to a certain section. So we can do that uh, through the use of bookmarks. Let me go ahead and add another page here. So we have uh, three pages that we're actually going to count in this section. But to actually make it so that we're counting from here where the page break is at, to this end of the section, what we actually need to do is insert a bookmark. So we can do that by going to insert bookmark. And then um, let's say report one end, or it could be chapter one end or anything like that. A bookmark, of course, being a uh, place in your document that you can reference. And um, now what we have to do is either hit Control F2 or go to insert fields other which is going to get you the full fields uh, reference dialog where you can insert a lot of extra stuff, uh, lots of extra options that aren't in that insert fields menu. And uh, what we need to do here is to go to the cross references tab and we're doing a bookmark. So we're cross referencing with a bookmark point and then we're going to insert reference to page. You just have to hit insert after that. And now what it's doing is basically counting all the pages from where we set this uh, bookmark to the uh, the end of where that bookmark's at. So it's the page break to the end of the bookmarks. And we can prove that because we'll go to um, create a new page. And because the bookmark is before this page, this page is not being counted in the total pages. So you have to keep that in mind. The bookmark needs to be at the end of your chapter, the end of your report, uh, whatever you need it for. Um, just make sure the last page you want to count is where the bookmark is located. So uh, that's really all there is to it. You can use this for a wide variety of applications, so I think this will be useful to you guys. Ignoring cover pages, counting pages in a chapter specifically, uh, page number of the chapter uh, could be used for academic reports, all kinds of stuff. So thank you very much for watching. I've been Chris. I hope this helped you out a bunch. And if you want to make a pledge to the Patreon, you can go to patreon.com slash Chris Tutorials, C-H-R-I-S Tutorials. Uh, would be greatly appreciated, but not necessary. So once again, uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you all next time.